Welcome to the SportsCon here on YouTube. I'm your host Daniel with your top sports stories. In light of a practice video gone viral through ESPN's Outside the Lines, Rutgers men's basketball head coach Mike Rice has been fired from the university. Rice was shown abusing players by throwing basketballs at them, physically shoving and grabbing them, and shouting gay slurs at them. Rice has apologized yesterday, quote, for the pain and hardship that I caused. I am so glad that Rutgers decided to fire Rice for his actions. After those actions were made public and the pressure began to mount higher than Chris Christie's blood pressure. How noble of them. Perhaps some discipline should befall the president and the AD of the university, but, to be fair, nobody punishes any public figure anymore unless there's pressure to do so. Moving to baseball to get a little cheerier here. The San Francisco Giants managed to defeat the Dodgers last night 5-3, taking 2 out of 3 of the opening series in L.A. Tim Lincecum tied a career worst in walks with 7 issued, but managed to keep the Dodgers to only 2 unearned runs and 5 innings of work. The Giants had a big 4-run third inning, partly due to a 2-run home run by Pablo Sandoval. Great job by the Giants rebounding from losing the season opener and still taking the series. While there's still a marathon ahead, this set of games sets a good tone to start the year off. The Giants host their home opener tomorrow versus the Cardinals at 1.35 p.m. Pacific, which will include a banner-raising ceremony beforehand for their 2012 World Series title. We started on a low note, went to a high note, and are finishing on another low note. It's like a roller coaster ride, you know what I mean? New York Times and SI writer Selena Roberts has written a report which alleges that Auburn changed players' grades, offered money to potential NFL draft picks to stay on for a senior year, and violated recruiting rules of the NCAA under former coach Gene Chizik. According to former Auburn players, as many as nine players' as grades changed before the 2011 BCS title game. Auburn would win that game over Oregon, claiming their first national title since 1957. Despite the fact that Cam Newton was named eligible for that game, the title might be stripped anyway, with the reasoning behind it having nothing to do with Cam Newton. That we know of. <laughs> the fact is that it looks like the program was dirty under Gene Chizik and that another school got to the top by violating the NCAA rules, allegedly. Wait, if the national title does eventually become vacated, does this mean the SEC streak of national titles would be broken? <laughs> Please let it be. Please let it be. To me, these allegations are a bit different from the rest of the recruiting scandals that we've heard of. While I don't care too much on the whole recruiting violations and paying the athletes, the fact that grades were allegedly changed irks me a bit more. These are supposed to be students that are trying to earn a degree in their respective fields because most of them will not be part of professional football. If one of them gets closer to that degree because they were valued enough as a player to be given some leeway, then that's the bigger fault than players getting money, no doubt. For more on how the value of a good education has been lost at Auburn, and possibly every other school with a football program in America, follow me on Twitter at the SportsCon SF. You can also follow me at the sportscon.blogspot.com. I'm Daniel saying be prepared for your finals for heaven's sakes, and goodbye.